AFTV, Luke, um, your debut on the channel today. It could have gone better than it did. 2-0 down, 3-1 down to Southampton. We've managed to come out with a 3-3 free, free draw, but is it enough? No, it's not. It's not in the long run, is it? No, it's in, the, in the context of the game, a point is good, really, sort of. It's hard to be positive. When we were watching it, we felt pretty negative. It's really hard to feel positive about the uh, the overall result, considering I think everybody went into that kind of expectant uh, of all the games we've got coming up. <clears throat> it's probably... It's one of the ones we were banking on, as, as we said in the in midweek, and that start, man. That's and it's not it's not the first time we've started games like that. I don't want to have to be urging this team on to come back from two 0 down. It's 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 a worry. Um, so yeah, to to rescue to rescue a point, it, you know, it might mean something. It obviously, means means more than nothing, but it should be three. And uh, and I think we said on the streams it was disappointing. The kind of the, even the way we scored the goals, they should. No reason they could, that that could, couldn't have happened earlier in the game. So yeah, it's uh, it's hard not to be disappointed. Why do you think we started the way we did? Do you think it's just down to a, a crazy moment from Ramsdale, or do you think there's more to it? Yeah, I've, I don't know. There must be more to it. I don't. It's just <clears throat> it's, it is a moment from Ramsdale, and you know the Bournemouth game, and then the game after that. We've had a few. I think teams have realised that there's something not quite right at the beginning. There, as soon as they kick off, it's out on the right, and then it's in and. I don't know, Ramsdale maybe settles in. The, he made some pivotal saves after that. He made a couple, I you know, don't remember many in the second half, but I remember he made a, a double save and not long after, maybe even the second goal, I don't know. But he, he made a couple of good saves, so, you know, but I don't know. The the, the second one, Gabriel, maybe it's kind of just easy pass through. But yeah, Ramsdale's, you know, he's at fault for that first one. I don't know if we just haven't woken up at that point. I don't know, fans still coming in the ground, I think. It's like, was in the first minute, mm -hmm. so... I don't know. It's, it's it's a worry. It's a similar thing with Bournemouth, although I wouldn't really put that on him. But yeah, this one's definitely on him. I don't know. It's something not not just didn't set up right. Whether it's in the changing room before or or whoever does the huddle at the beginning, just something not quite not quite right at the beginning of our games, and that has been the case since since Bournemouth. Yeah. How big was the you know the Jacka news? Not having Jacka available. First, I didn't think it would be as big of a deal, if I'm honest. I, I'll be really honest. I, I wasn't, you know, I thought, okay, if it, I don't know if it was illness. I can't remember what was confirmed, but I thought it was, you know, well chanced to see Vieira. I wasn't, wasn't gassed to, to see Vieira, I won't lie, but um, I don't escape him entirely either. But but I think we really missed it. And actually what, you know, okay, he's got a, obviously ability and he's, he's having a really good season. But what I think he brings... In a, in a leadership way, he's obviously a leader. I know he's not the captain anymore, but he's, he's pretty much considered off, you know, off the pitch a captain. And I think I think we miss that just calm headed. You know, we've been looking at Zinni and, and Jesus and I think Zinni was actually one of the, like we said, said on the stream, was one of the most passionate, not passionate, emotional mm. is the word to use. And, and he lost his head, you know, wild tackle quite early on. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I think the people we, we sort of look to to try and maybe calm us down because Ramsdale would have lost his head after that first, you know, he, won't, he wouldn't have been out of the races. And no Saliba in there. He's usually quite calm, although I don't really blame Holden for anything either. But um, yeah, I, th I think the level-headedness of, uh, of Xhaka, which is a weird thing to even think I'm, I'd ever say, but um, it, the least level-headedness this season has been, uh, I think was missed in that. Yeah. yeah. Etihad next. I mean, can we do it? We were saying, I don't know. So one of it's it's a game, but it's it's nothing's filling me with confidence in that. And if if Jesus if Jesus squanders as many chances as we have, if we get as many chances as that, basically. But I mean, if we if we if we pull off that first twenty minutes at the Etihad, it's four, it's five, hundred percent. There's no that City are City are that ruthless. Um, there's uh, you know we're gonna have to everything's gonna have to go our way in that. Um, everybody's gonna have to turn up. Um, yeah, it's gonna be. Well, it's not, I say it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be awful. I absolutely hate watching that game. But look, if we if we if we get a result there, obviously it's it's I don't know. It's game on. I don't think it's entirely over. It's sort of kicking the can down the road, if if for for want of a better expression. But yeah, it's 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 a tough one. Tough one today. I think the Etihad is going to be well. It was already the biggest game, but now we're sort of going in it thinking, well, yeah, they've they've got they've got those two games in hand as well. So it's just it's massive. It's absolutely massive. I can tell you're very deflated and <clears throat> understandably so. Yeah, yeah, I was quite I, like I'm usually quite positive. I'll be honest. I'm usually uh, usually thinking, you know, oh well, you know, we did come back and we did come back. Yeah, we you know we salvaged a point. But as we were saying on the stream, man, it's like we were shouting shoot for for half the game. The, those goals came in ways that they just could have come earlier. It's not like we wore them down and they eventually gave up. It, we, we just we just shot more. <laughs> we just you know the substitute. To be fair to, to Arteta, I think. The subs obviously worked because you know, especially the the Zinni Zinni coming off. I think that there was obviously something in that. And and if I if 
if I sleep on it, I'll probably think a bit, maybe a bit more positive about it tomorrow. But you know, to to, to come back from a disastrous three one, and that would have been disastrous, and that would have been like full on capitulation. It's hard not to feel like we have capitulated today, but we haven't. We have we have drawn. Um, I won't repeat the stat that James said that we're we're unbeaten in ten, but I'm not not quite feeling not quite feeling that positivity. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, maybe if we win the league, we can we can sit and and look at those kind of stats. But if we're going to lose out. You know, this, this draw was nothing. It just meant nothing, and, and even fighting back, it just is obviously for something. But well, is it? Is it for something? We'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. Thank you, Luke. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out. <laughs>